The quiet and unassuming town of Market Wheaton is situated in the Vale of York in the East Riding of Yorkshire. It's a market town serving the rich surrounding farmlands. Throughout the years, its inhabitants pursued their honest toil, but none came to any great recognition, apart from one. On the 10th of February, 1787, was born the man who was destined to be the tallest British man on record. His name was William Bradley. He was the fourth son in a family with 13 children. When he was born, he weighed 14 pounds, and by the time he was 11 years old, he weighed 11 stone. He carried on growing and as an adult came to 27 stone and achieved the height of 7 feet 9 inches. That's 2.36 metres. His shoes were 15 inches long and five and a half inches wide. And he had a walking stick which measured five foot ten inches. A man of this size could expect to have an enormous appetite. And it was said that he could eat an entire leg of mutton and the accompanying vegetables all in one meal. You might think that uh, he would have come from a tall family, but his father was only five foot nine inches and his mother and his siblings also of average height. Now, a child of this size obviously would be noticeable, and at school he was teased because of his size. However, his teacher had a special job for him. When one of his classmates misbehaved, the teacher would instruct William to lift the child up onto the crossbeams of the classroom and they would have to stay there, clinging on for dear life, until they had learned the error of their ways. When William left school, he joined the working community as a farm labourer. His income was modest, only ten shillings per week. But then there was a chance arose for him to make a far more substantial living. A travelling circus was touring nearby with a huge pig known as the Great Yorkshire Pig, and also by their less politically correct description, a dwarf named Edward Calvert. William was persuaded to join the circus and became known as the Yorkshire Giant. These travelling circuses, or freak shows, were a very popular form of entertainment at the time, however much our modern sensibilities may now object to the thought. However, William became disillusioned with the travelling life, Firstly, it took a toll on his health and he was becoming sick of it. But um, there was also the small matter of the fact that um, the proprietors often would uh, forget to pay him. As a result of this and realising that uh, he was very popular, he decided to go it, go it alone. He would hire venues, uh, for example hotel rooms, and would then charge visitors a shilling a time to have an audience with him. As a result of this, William became quite a wealthy man. His celebrity became nationwide, and on one occasion he was presented to King George III at Windsor Castle. King George was so impressed that he gave William a magnificent gold watch on a chain, an item which William wore for the rest of his life. Whether it was because of the short expectation of life of people in those days... Or because of his size, William eventually succumbed to tuberculosis and died on the 30th of May 1820 at the age of 33. By this time, he had come back to live with his family in York Road, Market Wheaton, and the house that he lived in stands today. It had to be specially altered with higher doors to allow him access. When it came to laying William to rest, there was a fear by the family that grave robbers, a problem at the time, interested in his body because of his size, may be attracted to the remains. As a result, he was buried within the building of the town church. His funeral took place in the early morning to avoid large crowds, but still people turned out en masse, either to pay their respects or to satisfy their own morbid fascination to watch William's coffin, all nine foot three of it, as it was taken into the church. The town was justly proud of its famous celebrity. 
Today, a memorial plaque the size of his footprint can be seen on the side of his home. And also, the town has created a life-sized wooden statue, which can be found in the town centre. Also, there is an annual festival in his memory, which has been held since May 1996. And finally, the giant Bradley Heritage Trail was created in 2005 by the Market Wheaton Civic Society to celebrate the town's most famous man, who, even though he lived in the Regency period, is still recorded as the tallest ever Englishman.